Just in time. Goro, if you're here to jump, remember that there's help available. Round the clock hotline. That is not funny. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly. Much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang, no more thief. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float. Enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? There's no time to waste, B. Wait, if, if things go to ship, we got a backup plan? What do you think? I am accused of betraying Arasaka. Soon I will try to confront the sister of the CEO in person. There are no backup plans. This one must work. I'm ready. Question is, are you? I formed this plan, did I not? All while ignoring one crucial element. Your friend, Oda. Oda is a man of honor. He would not dare raise his hand against me. Maybe. But you're gonna be dropping in on Hanako by surprise. Ah, you have a point. Instinct and reflexes win out at the moments like this. So? So I can only hope that I am still faster than he is. Stay safe, Koro. Good to go. Then let us begin. You must reach old snipers before Hanako-sama's float appears. Hey. 
Kabura Arasaka, the poor chap. I know that borged out ogre. Adam fucking smash him. Guy who killed you, right? Guy, motherfucker's barely human. But hey, know what? I'm glad he's here. You're glad? Seeing as I woke up in a world without any Sabura, I'll have to be satisfied with smash him. You gotta be satisfied. You got fuck all to lose. All right, fine, we. Your finger on the fucking trigger, I guess. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. Both the factions have been so No, don't think so. It is an assignment. Plan a little whoopsie daisy for you. Fuck! Almost fell. Carefully, you must not draw attention. Told you so.
You will have to get down somehow. Just be careful. Yes, just so. Don't rush. I need you alive. Not the corpse below. Be posted. to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. And if that doesn't work, you can use the footbridge to your right. Watch out for the float jets. Unless you intend to get cooked, I would keep my head low. Yeah! 
Apparently. Well done. One problem remained. And that is... The Arasaka Netrunner. She has taken control of all the networks. You must get rid of her. We'll not be able to hijack the float otherwise. She hides in an unfinished apartment. Okay, on my way. Not good. Now, V, I have an attention. Pull out her link. Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Oh, that. Of course you're here. He's breathing. For now. Please, V. Show him mercy. There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. Okay, Prem. Online and in the system. Hanako's inside. What is she doing? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Do not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter. 
なぜ止まったんだ危険だと警告されたの織田とも連絡が取れないし何か変だわパレードを中止すれば弱さを露呈したと思われる弱さ誰のあなたの俺たちだ私が参加したのはあくまでもお父様を追悼するため操り人形になるためじゃないわこの見せ物ではみんなに役割がある美智子は文句を言ってないぞだがお前が言うなら中止してもいい全部やめだお前の安全が第一だからな兄さんやり終えましょうありがとう花子せっかくの式典だやり終えなければ悔いが残るゴロオーステムスジャムズナウォーネバーお父様花子様あなたはお許しをどうか話だけでもお聞きくださいサブロー様は父のことを口にしないこれが俺にできる最後のご奉仕なのですサブロー様の死について真実を明かすことは花子様無礼を働きたくありませんしかしビーランシッシッシッ,シッ He shot her. Whatever he did, that will really f u c k Knew we couldn't trust him. What happened to keeping him on his leash? We'd best delta the fuck out of here. Okay, come inside, quick. I feared they had caught you. Now, are you gonna tell me what the fuck you were thinking? I used a sedative. She tried to enable her tracker. 
I had no choice. I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea? Yes, she respectfully declined. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. I'm sorry that we have to speak under such circumstances. That is the second time today I have heard that. Your Nobu's the murderer. He strangled your father. I saw it with my own eyes. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Thing is, I'm damn determined and got nothing to lose. Got your prototype relic jammed in my head. By freak coincidence, it stopped, then helped me survive. A bullet. Now it's slowly killing me. One of your personality engrams is overriding itself onto my psyche, and if I don't find a way to stop it, well, it won't end well for me. Hanako-sama, V is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word she speaks if only you will help her with the relic. Hanako-sama. Hear that? Go and check. Got a bad feeling about this. What you doing? You lost it? He's beyond any sort of help. Now, fast! There are empty rooms to the right. It's our only chance. Hey! Oh, 
Different ways. Alone, we have a better chance. Really? Think so? Hey, go. Now. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck ups like us? ACs busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? Yep. Just two fucking losers. And I thought we were screwed when Goro kidnapped Hanako. Mm-hmm. See? Decide to cross a corp, this is what happens. You think you just stepped in shit. Actually, you fell head first into a cesspit. Anyone knocks, blast the fucking door. No warning. And if it's Goral? Who are you kidding? Been 24 hours since we split up. Complete radio silence. Rest in peace, bastard. Song yourself. Even without his implants, he was a good fighter. He'll pull through. Doesn't matter how good you are in Night City. On your own, you're fucked. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trig, V. Don't touch that door. I know you're in there. Who's there? I said, who's there? Oh, want the whole motel to hear, or will you let me in? I'm armed. Don't try anything. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that blood? Yeah. Knock the last star off this dump. So, you were saying, got a message? Sitting right here. Oh, it'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <clears throat> must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Monaco? That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. Any word from Goral? We split up when we went on the run. Takemura is in a secure location. That is all you need to know at this time. How'd you find me? Did you really think it would be enough to leave the city? Takamura mentioned he had placed a tracker on you, yet even had he not, when Arasaka wishes to find someone, it finds them. Porcelain bitch. I'm sorry. No, this must be difficult for you. Painful. So much so that I could not look the truth in the eye. What happens now? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh, and you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. Decided already, is that it? You're in no position to set conditions. 
And what if I... obliged you to cooperate? Have to send a swarm of proxies to do that. This here, talking, is because you're alone. You don't have anyone else you can turn to. This is true. So what are your terms? Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. The Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer, using her own modified version now. That should be more than useful. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's way. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. The process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least, got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. That's about the extent of what we got. What now? Let us meet in person. At Embers, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. Uh, well, that's my job done. Know what? What? Think I'd have rather had a wave of psycho leads marching here. Right, because at least we've dealt with Sokka henchmen before. But this, it's something new. I'm glad to see you get it. We've just landed on very thin ice. Crash landed. What's up? Got a few more words about the... the porcelain cunt? <laughs> Shit. Get ready. Fuck. Johnny. You ain't dying yet. I got you. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pista Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Why... Why bring me here, of all places? Give me a minute. You'll see. You took over. Couldn't just leave you there, could I?
Thanks for helping. What are imaginary friends for? I think I'm not long for this world. Yeah, looking that way. Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. These yours? They were. Belong to you now. War souvenir, I'm guessing. War you checked out of. Well, well. So you do pay attention sometimes. After I deserted, I wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <sighs> I wouldn't mind. Lying down right now, watching a fan turn till the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear, I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get wiped. Tags are proof of my promise. I... I... do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? Got a better idea. Not yet, but I got a request. Well? Adam Smasher. Fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Seriously? Smasher? He suddenly comes to mind. Last time we saw him... Didn't we... have a chance to say hello. That's why we gotta find him. Finally end this. Right. Understood. And I want Rogue to be there with you. It's important to me. And it's just as important for her. So I gotta tell Rogue... Everything? Think I'd better do that. Handle it personally. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. Not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out. I promise. Nelman said you'd do this. Make a power grab or pitch for control. Anders Hellman. And just what has he ever done to help you? May not help, but he doesn't hurt me. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's willing to help. Hey, just busted out of Soul Prison. Check out my new ass. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Fine. I'll do this for you. Appreciate it, thanks. Take me to the afterlife. Promise, you won't regret this. 
feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. <laughs> The Hotel Pista Sofia. That right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today. If you've ever thought of starting a family, I would advise you to think twice. See, my client Michael Maldonado did not, and had a son that seems to cause him oh so much woe indeed. The matter's a rather delicate one. Michael wants to talk it over in person with you, and you alone. I favor clients with fewer question marks over their heads, but Maldonado offered extra. Thus, an exception was made. I'd like you to see him. See what this is about. Details attached.
You there? How about a quick game? Uh, Michael Maldonado? V. Hand said you needed a... a hand or something. Oh, it's you. Over here. Let's talk. Glad you could make it. Fixer said you can turn around even the most hopeless of cases. How hopeless we talking? It's about my son, Eric. Boy runs a motorcycle repair shop in Haywood. Totally legit operation. Taxes, permits, you name it. But this DA, Georgina Zembinski, she needs her pound of flesh. Wants to turn him into an example. That's where you come in. Why would she have it in for him? There's gotta be a reason. She's the DA. If she wants a reason, she'll find one. Zembinski said she's after some Valentino kingpin. Hector Sacristan was the name, I think. What's Eric got to do with it? Word is he knows Sacristan. Has heaps of dirt that could bring him down. But for that, she needs Eric behind bars. So, she forced me to testify. Now I need you to make it go away. Tell me more about Eric. Mentioned he sells two-wheelers. Fixes them. Little go-getter owns a repair shop in Haywood now. Yeah. Moved out of Dogtown with his mother years ago. Hardly seen the kid since. Sure your son's who he says he is? Eric? He's too innocent for this town. That's why they're fixing to take him down. Zimbinski forced you to testify. How, exactly? At first she seemed... nice. We were sitting, having a normal conversation. She showed me her so-called evidence against Eric. Wanted me to corroborate it. it. Was bullshit, every last word. Two days later, came back with some badge. Beat the shit out of me, threatened worse for Eric. Then they put me in front of a camera and I... I told them what they wanted to hear. I was fucking scared. Just go talk to her. You know, the way you people do. Eric's a good kid. You get eaten alive in prison. Not if I have anything to say about it. Gonna find her. Have ourselves a little chat. Ah. That's a relief. No hands wouldn't toss me some bush nigger. You'll find her at the Heavy Hearts Club. Perfect place for plotting and scheming. And you know that how? That's where she invited me for our heart to heart. by yourself? Where's Walt? Looking for a customer of yours? D.A. Georgina Zimbinski. Know her? Can't say I do, but if she's some kind of big shot, probably find her in the booth. Have to ask Jack, though, and him you'll find in the can. As in, like, the shitter? That can? Mm-hmm, where he does his biz, where the magic happens. Maybe he'll know her. Uh, okay, thanks. Technica suit's supposed to come tomorrow. You know, sunflower guy. Hey, what's good? Looking for something? Okay, let's see. Show me. Interested or not?
Looking for someone. Girl tending bar told me you're the go-to. Nah. Helen needs to learn to keep her trap shut. Georgina Zimbinski, Night City DA. Ring any bells? Nah. I could have called upstairs and asked, though. You do that? Oh, slow down. Times it is and all that jazz. Do you what I'm saying? There. Don't make me regret it. Hey, no risk, no reward, right? Hey, baby. I'm looking for a clan of ours. Georgina Zimbinski. Yeah, right. Okay, thanks. My girl saw her. Say she's smoothing with some heavy hitters. Booth four. I'll check it out. Thanks. Hello, Georgina Zempinski. Careful with that one. Lawyers are not to be trusted. There are any kinds of people worthy of your trust? Of course. Sound technicians. You don't want to fuck with me? What gives you the right? You're done here. Finished. I'll make damn sure of it. What happened? The hell does it look like? Shitbags threw me out of VIP. Shithead bouncers don't know who they're dealing with. Oh, they're gonna throw yeah? me out? Can I help? Me? Can't you, I don't know, straighten it out somehow? Oh, I'll straighten it out all right. Next time I see the manager, I'll have those fuckers fired. Why'd they kick you out? Well, um, some loser wouldn't stop bothering me, so I bashed his head against the bar a little too hard. Said I was sorry, and I was. Doesn't give security the right to ride me so hard. Did my fair share of VIP treatment. Bouncers get it wrong sometimes. Hmm. Just go there, tell them who you are. Bound to get an apology, at least. You some kind of shrink now? Works for me, is all I'm uh, saying. Yeah? Bullshit! So why do you waltz in behind the bar and have them carry your VIP ass upstairs? Cause I'm done dealing with those Neanderthals. Now somebody get me a fucking drink! Something the matter? You don't have it anymore. Be in tomorrow.
feeling. Gonna sort us out? Girl, please. Brought my own. Plain refused to buy from that one. I have received word from my boss has agreed. We will build the whole arcology. Looking for Georgina Zimbinski. Is she around? Perhaps. That depends who you are. Name's V. Got fresh evidence for a case she's building. Important I hand it to her personally. Well, well, Georgina Zembinski getting the good folk in Night City to help her in her fight for justice. You'll find her in booth six. Thanks, Phyllis.
Thanks, fellas. Anyone here? Put in the and you are? Georgina Zimbinski. Need to talk to you about Michael Maldonado. That drunk? What about him? Claims he was forced to testify against his son. Need you to wipe it. He wants me to... That cowardly two-faced sack of shit. See? Told you he couldn't be trusted. What exactly did he tell you? You want to frame Mike's son as part of some gang bust. Frame him? Oh, please. Boy's done all the work himself already. Is that right? Kidnapping, extortion, arson, armed robbery. Guess whose rap sheet that is? Eric Maldonado is textbook ganger scum. He belongs in prison. We just needed someone to help him get there. His father, Michael, didn't think twice about choosing Eddie's over his lowlife son. Who's Hector Sacristan? One of the Valentino's top men. Narco-millionaire, serial murderer. Two years I've been after him. Eric Maldonado, he's the last domino. But if I want to use him, I need him behind bars. So Eric's past justifies forging testimonies? Teach you that at law school? This is the real world. You want justice? Need to nudge it in the right direction. Maldonado doesn't care about his son. He's scared Eric will find out it was his old man who snitched on him. Of course I can make it so that never happens. I'm listening. Why don't you watch Michael's testimony first? Witness the truth yourself. Final question. On May 16th of last year, Eric Maldonado contacted you by holocall. During your conversation, 
he admitted that Hector Sacristan shot and killed Marcos Ferreira. He also stated that Sacristan ordered Ferreira's body to be dumped in the Coronado Bay. Can you confirm this is what Eric told you? I... Yes. Yes, I confirm. Excellent, thank you. That will be all. Michael didn't bat an eye when he accepted payment for that testimony. Real entrepreneur. I'll cut right to the chase. I'm offering to anonymize Michael's testimony. Eric will never be the wiser. And if I refuse? Wouldn't advise it. Wouldn't be, uh, safe for you. Mike hired me to do a job. Intend to see it through. Besides, I think you're full of shit. Full of shit? Me? I just showed you proof. Showed me one piece that fits your narrative. Not nearly enough. The testimony. Now. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Let's try this in a language you'll understand. Hank? I want you to stop and think, Hank. About how many years you have left till you retire. About how I could speed that up. Dealt with far worse than the likes of you. Compared to them, getting rid of you would be like swatting a fly. Um, <clears throat> hey, Georgina. Really don't feel like dying today. Not over some piss-ass testimony. Uh, really, Hank? You and I need to have a talk later. There. Deleted and gone. Preem. Thanks. to go. Am I finally gonna get a good night's sleep? It's done. Testimony's gone for good. <laughs> That's a weight off my shoulders. Gone. Pay me with the eddies you got for selling your son down the river. Hi. Oh, shit. Count yourself lucky you've only got me to deal with, Mikey. Just... Just go. Hey, baby. Heard you're pro. I spoke to Mr. Maldonado. He was most satisfied with your work. A job well done. I'm pleased you handled this quietly. The client is happy, and by extension, so am I. I'm closing the gig and sending you a little bonus.
Patience is a virtue.
Sometimes. You're free to pass.
Gonna be a good day. Wheels. Wheels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ready to roll or what? Relax. It'll be fun. Scanner readout bug for a sec. Dog town for her. It turns out she's chasing her ass.
turn back time. Used to do real things. Turns out I will be staying at the stadium after all. Nell Springer? Who's asking? Name's V. Fixer sent me. You weren't followed? Why? Scared the Crimson Harvest might know you're up to no good? No. Well, I have a feeling. And not a whole lot of time. Did hands bring you up to speed? Said you're a terrorist with a heart of gold. For the love of... We're not terrorists. You got any clue what the Crimson Harvest even stands for? How about putting an end to hunger, starvation? People starving? Where? Because dumpsters are overflowing with food in Night City. You city folk don't know shit. You think you're free? That slavery's ancient history? Ought to see how Biotechnica treats farmers. Force them off their land to grow gene-modified wheat. For food, one would think. Wrong. For Chew 2 that's sold to Petrochem. You like the taste of Chew 2? No? That's what I thought. The Crimson Harvest. They recruit you, or did you volunteer? Grew up on a farm like most of my comrades. Corpse boots stamping on our faces. That was our life. Until we realized we could fight back. Crimson Harvest, they're like family. And the things you'll do for family will... can keep you up at night. Haunt you. If you believe in what the Crimson Harvest stands for, why shit on their parade? I support their ends, not their means. I... I never thought we'd start killing people. Things they had me do, I... I was naive. Probably thought she'd be collecting signatures and making peace protests. Or... Naive. A eh, bit of an understatement, that. Spare me the judgment. Didn't hire you to pin my biography. Here. Wow, discreet. New to this, are we? What's on the shard? One thing at a time, okay? The Crimson Harvest purchased a net nuke from Hansen. It's headed for Europe. Specifically, Biotechnica's HQ in Berlin. You'll make sure that doesn't happen. Your bomb won't cause any good old-fashioned destruction. Thought terrorists like putting on a show. Take down a building, whoop the fucking do Biotechnica just builds a new one. What you want is the protein. Human casualties. So what do we do? Western part of the stadium used to house a sports therapy center. For Hansen turned into an arms factory. Entry codes 1701. Memorize it. It's got assembly lines, warehouses, the works. Part you're interested in is an experimental lab in the old pool. It's where they keep the bomb. Find it, upload the program from this shard. A few days from now, when the bomb's detonated in Berlin, it'll neutralize the virus, stop its spread. When it's done, I'd like that shard back. Gonna keep it as a souvenir. Can't be too careful. If the Crimson Harvest ever got their hands on it, I'm toast. If you think this'll win you Biotechnica's protection against the Crimson Harvest, you've got another thing coming. Maybe naive, but not that naive. Know a thing or two about corpse. No, they ain't much different from the Crimson Harvest. Just shut up, follow orders. Same leash, different collar. Maybe I'm doing it for myself. Can't turn back time, but I can still change what happens here, now, the future. Too long I've sat on my ass agonizing over the shit I've done. That ends today. Guess I'll get to work then. Counting on you, V.
Cooperate. Travelers to avoid side roads. We'll continue to keep you informed as the situation develops. Don't cry no tears when you slice and dice them.
chance to win a one week getaway for two at the Crystal Palace. Ten casinos, five poles, top end brain dance equipment. See what's here. Only thing worse than a corpo is a terrorist with a conscience. Except terrorists ain't afraid to dirty their hands. Blame Nell for trying to save innocent people? For having a conscience? If you're gonna declare war on corpse, you'd best be ready for the consequences. Yes, innocent people die. It's the nature of war. Been half a century since your little stunt at our Sokka Tower. Thousands of innocent folks dead, and for what? An even taller tower? It was just the first skirmish in a long war. It's because of spineless cowards like Nell that we hit quicksand.
The bomb. You, you take care of it? Disarmed. We're in the clear. Quick, hand me the shard. Gotta make tracks. What the? Shit, the car's hacked! What's going on? Did you sell me out? Got nothing to do with this. Mel Stringer! You're under arrest for organizing last year's bombing of a biotechnical lab in Paris! No, no, no. This isn't happening. Your bomb killed 32 innocent people! Get now why you didn't want the corporate leash. Because they would have strung you up with it. I swear on my life, V. I had this no idea cool. civilians would die. Out of the vehicle. Hands in the air. Not giving myself up. No, Stay no, here. No. Four against one, huh? Bring it. Ah. <laughs> No, I... I don't think so. Thanks, V. Could have told me you had more than the Crimson Harvest to worry about. I... I thought if you found out the truth, you wouldn't help. I... I'm sorry. I misjudged you. Think you'll ever come around to forgiving yourself? Don't know. I already hate myself for what I did. Got your whole life to turn things around. Today was the first step. Couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, V. Good luck out there. What a waste. Chick had potential. Could have gone far. Pains me to see promising careers flush down the drain. People need to know. Watch out for yourself, especially at night.
Heard Netwatch is on the prowl, sniffing around here lately. I'm certain I have no idea what you're talking about. Unfortunately, this thing I know nothing about is a problem for the VDBs. So much so, district power consumption has dropped by half. Voodoo's troubles keeping you up at night? Mr. Hands, the altruist. No. Disruptions to the status quo keep me up at night. My concern grows when the seeds of chaos are sown. It's bad for business. So what's this you got for me? V, you're Dorothy. Dropped into a foreign land, you face many obstacles and overcome them to see Hansen's Emerald City. Metaphor's esoteric at best. Going anywhere with it? Only toward a happy conclusion. You've labored diligently and earned your reward. Your very own silver slippers. By silver slippers, you mean... A fitting end to our tale. Something that will spirit you home safely. You'll know what I mean when you see what I'm talking about. Soon. Got all the parts cast, don't you? What's your role in the story? Why, the narrator, of course. <laughs> Figured as much. Right. Well, your silver slippers await outside. I wish you safe travels, V. It's been... interesting, if not to say peculiar. So that's it for our biz together? Who can say? For the time being, it certainly is. Please, no tears. And one last thing. Be wary of witches, the wicked, and the good. Until next time, V. Yep. Till then, hands.
Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger, get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Hmm. Guess I know the type. Some deeds about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, but I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. Guess I left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. 
Jude would have had a better chance without you. Starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? We're not done talking. But you do well to hear Judy out, or we'll make sure your worst fear comes true. Oh. Stand to lose my youth, at ease, and influence? Something's gonna happen, but you'll be the last to know. Huh. Wanna tear clouds out of the Tiger Claw's paws? Dolls should own it, control it. All right, this has been fun and all, but I think it's time you got going. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie. Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Mess with the claws? Blowback will hit every one of the dolls in here. So, you won't help? I thought I expressed myself clearly. Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. You picked the wrong side, Michael. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. <sighs> she didn't even let me make my point. Don't worry. She put on an act. Needed to show who's boss. We took her by surprise. She couldn't do anything but throw us out. She'll call soon enough and ask what we actually wanted. You might be onto something. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. 
Fine. Want you to do it. You sure he's gonna be there? You met Maiko. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. the ground floor to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling, it was so fucking strong. The world did change, though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know. They were in danger. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Let's take it from the top. What's your name? I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood spontaneous craving satisfaction machine. Back 
you in the game. Guess you liked it, huh? Got a vehicle to track down. Something interesting in the back, too. back. care of the rest.
Claire, you coming? I'm already here. Great. Be there in a flash, promise. Right on. See you soon. Wait, hold up. Which rig are we using? Yours. Okay. Beasts ready to roar. Be right over. Later. I bet a bundle on our win. Losing's just not an option, eh? Hey, look, Samson. Fresh meat. Oh, hey, Wood! <laughs> We're at home. Be here. embarrassing to lose to a rookie. What am I supposed to do? Hey, V. Good to see you. So, how's it look to you? Give me my take once we cross the finish line, provided we arrive in one piece. Hey, focus on winning. Yeah, I'll go heavy on the throttle. Seem to be a lot of corpos taking part. How can you tell? Used to be one. Letting off steam after hours was key. It was either that or stress, burnout, a trip in a trauma team ambulance. Well, people don't have heart attacks on the circuit, but ambulances come in handy. No consequences for corpses in these races? Cops don't care who dies. They just funnel the data through their accident reports. A bullet to the brain counts as a traffic fatality? Depends on the street. Any tips before we roll? Don't take your foot off the chew. My job will be to slow everyone else down. Ultimately, it'll be speed, not firepower, that'll win us this race. Go fast. Got it. Oh, take this shard. What's this for? It'll show you the route. You'd be driving blind without it. We need to hit all the checkpoints or we'll be disqualified. If you want to hang a bit, do. I'll be in the rig. When do we start? The shard. It's all on there.
Don't jinx it. Free and clear, our victors. What did we just see? First place. You sound surprised. First fucking place. It's not that I'm surprised, it's just. I know, first place. I heard you. Let's hold up at the finish line a minute, just in case. You got it. Do these races every year? My fourth time this. First time out, I won. It gets you hooked. I can't give it up now. Can't or won't? What's the difference? You do this for the Eddies, the wins, the glory. Why do you race? It's like you've got laser focus. You don't like winning? Yeah, it depends on what I stand to gain and what I got to put in. Yeah. The price can be pretty high. Did you say you lost your last driver? Can we not talk about it? Sure. Sure. Need a lift to the shop? Yeah, sure. All right, let's go.